We take care of our children, our parents, our everybody. We do it all. And yet we don't ask for more. It's not built in. We, it didn't sit right with me. In fact, in some ways I think women still feel like it's untoward to speak about money for them. They feel shame, shame. Can you imagine? It doesn't make any sense, right? And now with our rights and our access to health care being ripped from us, 50 years of rights, um, this passion of mine, it's really a mission for all of us. What I want to go to is explain then how somebody that is antithetical to your roots, my mother's roots, could appeal to that base of whites and blacks and the person of Donald Trump. What, what are we looking at here? If they, listen, if they voted for Trump in 16, whatever, they voted for Trump in 20, they knew exactly what they were doing. If they vote for Donald Trump in 2024, they're knowingly voting for a fascist. They're voting for a racist. They're voting for somebody that wants to put this country 200 years in the back. And so I'm not trying to figure them out. I'm trying to figure out how we get people out who love democracy, who love freedom, who love the rights of all Americans, how to get them to the voting booth. Because that's how we save our country. Joe preaching at yesterday's annual National Action Network convention to a standing ovation. Mika, as you saw there, honored during the conference's Women's Empowerment Luncheon, along with others, including voting rights activist Stacey Abrams, Planned Parenthood founder Alexis McGill Johnson, as we mentioned, Alicia Keys as well. And that was Joe, a part of his discussion with Reverend Al about what's at stake in November and the crucial role black men and women will play at the ballot box. And Rev, I understand today President Biden will address the convention. But first, that was some conversation with Joe, huh? Absolutely. I'm glad you showed it because I can't describe uh, the reaction of the crowd. Uh, you had to see it where you could even they were covering the cameras. They were jumping up. So and Joe was a big hit. And, and Mika also preached at the uh, at the women's lunch. And I, and I thought it was important uh, because it showed that this is not just some people on TV. They have real feelings and real identity with people across the board. So it was great to have uh, Joe and Mika as as well as the rest uh, with us at Nash Action Network. The president will speak virally straight from the White House. He says, I don't want to do a videotape. I want to talk live to the delegates at Nash Action Network. And he's going to do it this afternoon. And we're looking forward to what he has to say. You had great speakers there. Stacey Abrams, yeah, really was moving. That was a moving speech and just a call to action, wasn't it? Absolutely. She's one of the best. And she was in rare form yesterday. Uh, we had her... Uh, and I, I was very glad even on the first day as uh, we brought in uh, people like the head of Planned Parenthood, Alexis McGill Johnson, and, and uh, it, it goes on and on. I think that we will have had a great convention by the time we finish tomorrow. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.